Hi. So uh, today down at the Chinatown Food Market, we have uh, a little more, I guess, preparation style things to make. So uh, today we are having uh, chicken feet. And if uh, you're, you're not so into the turf side of things, we have a surf side as well. Uh, duck feet. Uh, and they're pouring on me right now, so delicious. Uh, so I'm gonna get started in uh, getting them prepped. They're coming along nicely. Chicken. Duck. Duck claw. Okay, so the chicken feet and the duck feet are just about done. Uh, actually, I think they are done, so let's take a look. After about, I'd say, three hours of cooking, simmering, it looks like this. It looks kind of unappealing, to be honest with you. But, down in there are the goods. Hey, look at that. It needs a trim. But anyway, so let's get a few of these in here. Make sure we have a selection to choose from. Oh, hey. Look at that. All right. So the duck feet look quite a bit the same. We use celery and carrots and onions and all the goodies that you would use in a good, I mean, really in a good ramen base. So, here's the duck feet. Duck feet, chicken feet. Chicken feet, duck feet. All right. Okay, so here it goes. How about that? Well, There's a lot of bones in it. I guess it would be chicken phalanges. Anyways, so, uh, duck feet. That actually is kind of tasty. The duck foot looks a little more... Hi. I don't know. Um, prehistoric. There it goes. There are a lot of bones in this one. It's still kind of good. So that one foot had a lot of bones. But they're clean. I have a happy plate. They're a happy foot. Anyways, um, today's drink that I found is Bruce Tea. The famous Bruce Lee apparently has a plenty of kung fu. Uh, it's got acai and other uh, goji berry and something I can't pronounce. We're going in. I'm not sure that I can taste the Kung Fu in it, but it's pretty good. So, Bruce tea, chicken feet, duck feet, makes one hell of a meal. Try yours today.
I feel like I've stuck a foot in my mouth. <laughs>